I woke up really, 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 really late. Okay, so I'm in frazzle mode. I, I shouldn't be vlogging right now. I was supposed to be there by nine. None of my alarms went off and I woke up at 8.30 and I messaged him being like, I'm gonna be late, I'm so sorry. And then I was like, why did my alarms go off? But then I, as I was brushing my teeth, I was like, I'm on that age. Uh, and I was singing Flawless, which is my alarm. So maybe it did go off and I dreamt it. I need to go. Meow. All right, so I'm walking to my super secret shoot that I cannot tell you all the details of, but I'll try to vlog as much as I can. I hate keeping secrets from you. I don't know when my voice is gonna get better. Like, I don't comprehend. I don't comprehend. Anyways, I need to take some selfies in this light, so BRB. Blair ah. did my makeup and I look fabulous because of blur. Hi. Hi. Your what makeup looks thing? damn good, actually. Thank you. Oh my god. It's my job. It's, I know, it's good when people who do makeup have good makeup. Sometimes people have some effed up makeup and they do my makeup and you know, and then you don't it's a situation. Them. Blair, ladies and gentlemen, and I ate her. Mate? This is Brandon. Yeah. He's a sweetheart. We worked together before because he's Humble's very good friend. Yeah, do it, do it, Brandon. Do it, do it, Brandon. Do it, do it, do it, Brandon. Come on. Come, you're failing, Brandon. Come on. Do it. Come on. Brandon. Unicorn Island, what it do? 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 I really like this lipstick color, you know? Hmm. I shall invest. Yeah. When in LA, I heard the weather's supposed to be bad. There's supposed to be a storm coming. Hey, oh, what what's up, girl? See what I did? Hey, that's what I did. Cool. That was me. I was me. I was me. That's right. Team light skin. Team, team light skin. Yeah, you're the captain. You're the captain. Yo, what's up? Let me get into the shade right now. I can't even see the friggin' screen. Hola. 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 Uh, so I'm on set of the secret shoot. Thingy. Every time I go on set, I learn the same lesson. I don't know why I don't implement this because I learn it over and over again. I never shave my legs when I go on set because I'm always like so busy. Like I wake up, do my makeup, whatever, whatever, and I'm not like these mother and white girls. I have no leg on their hair. It's like I have, sorry, I have no hair on their leg. I have hair on my legs. I never, because I always ask them like, yo, what am I wearing? Do I need to shave? Yada, yada, yada. Because girls, you know what's up? You shave too much and your legs get all like stubbly and like gross and your pores get all big. So like I only try to shave when I really need to. Sure enough, I come on set. Yeah, so we put you in these shorts, and I'm like, nah, 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 I asked you. I ain't shaved my legs. On top of that, from now on, every time I go on set, I'm just gonna bring myself a pair of tights, an extra bra, like all these things. Especially when you're working on set, and there's a whole bunch of dudes, like, they don't get those things. And you gotta, like, do things on set, and your wardrobe's, like, malfunctioning. Like, always happens to me, from now on. Bringing extras of everything, tights, booty shorts, tank tops, everything. Jesus, because right now I'm pretty sure I just, like, Camel toed up the whole set with my like tights. And I was doing some funky stuff and I'm like my short my shirt was like, ladies, you know if you're wearing thin tights, you don't wear a short top. You wear a longer top to cover your bum. That's that's come on. But that didn't happen just now, so Everybody's on my pee pee. Everybody's on my pee pee. Everybody's on my pee pee. They saw my pee pee. See if a notion was here, she'd be singing with me. I'm just gonna pretend she's here. Everybody's on my pee pee. Yeah, they saw, they saw your pee pee. And they saw my, saw my pee pee. And they said they like your pee pee. Nanu. It's so hot. I love it. I'm so tired right now. I'm so tired. But it's so hot, but I love it. LA living, yo. If I was in Toronto, I'd be freezing right now. So no complaints there. <laughs> All right. Greatest shirt in the world has just been discovered. It's a popcorn shirt. Hawk is wearing a popcorn shirt. I need to eat his shirt and then his accent. There we I can. need to eat both of these things right now. So and the earring. This you're just killing it. It's killing real. It. It's real. Yeah. Oh. I'm about it. I want the shirt. Oh my god, there's a freak on set. Everybody look at him. <laughs> Hold on. Hi everyone, I'm the freak here. Okay, so All right, you want to push it or you want me to do it? Okay, so let me show you his special talent. Okay. Right, let me get on this side. Right, right, right. This is because of my powers. Nothing yeah. else. Okay, ready? Yeah, it's a super one more. Ready? ready? Push. Oh, you want me to actually? It just stays like that. It stays like that. Yeah. So you're not holding it. No. No hands. Wow. <laughs> what is the science? What is the science here? I don't know what's going on. Can you look right into the ah! Oh, hold on, hold on. You know what it looks like? It looks like you did the photo booth challenge and the cat like it exactly. scrolled and halfway stuck. and now your face is stuck yeah, like that's that. That's my claim to fame. Ah! Can I put it back? Yeah. Oh here. damn, here. I'm scared. Do you feel it? Like, ready? You guys, there's this, there's this guy here. He kind of looks like that guy from Smosh. Did anyone ever tell you he kind of looks like that guy from Smosh? He says I look like the guy from Smosh, but I've yeah. never got him. I never? That's never. strange. I don't look like that you guy. You kind of look like that guy. I don't look like that guy. Yeah. Like, he doesn't look anything like that guy. No, I don't look like that guy at all. Not at all, but you kind of look like you that guy. You kind of look like that girl from the, what is it? Miranda? Super, yeah. Like Miranda. Miranda. I get that a lot. Oh. Hey! Oh. You look quite ran into right oh now. Oh my god, it's so... 
cold. I just made this beanie. It's a DIY. Yeah. We need to actually just take a moment, everybody, to appreciate how Bethany is slaying the world right now. Slaying the world? Slaying the world. Girl, don't even. And her poor knees are all bruised. And she's going, Dad's going to start. We're going to go for massages. We're going to get never massages. Been, she's never been for a massage. I just agreed to this until now. Yeah. Now I'm like, so we're going to go massages. Please give me one. Please. There, we're going to go massages. Please it has to happen. It has to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <sighs> Look who's here, my babe of all time. Hey. Okay, you have to see what. Raymond does. I want your reaction of this. All right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. How you doing? What is this? Wait, wait, no, ew. How are you keeping it like that? It, it just stays. stays. Yo, so I'm back at my hotel now. I'm so tired. This is, the thing, this is the thing about the LA Toronto time difference. Even though it's three hours, it always gets to me. I don't know what it is. It's like that three hours makes a difference somehow. So strange. I feel like I could deal with like a 10 hour time difference better than this one. Um, so it is video day. I do have to call Sarah real quick, do a bit of a conference call, then have another call at five. It is video day. I'm gonna try to fit in an hour nap if I can. So I woke up from my nap. I don't even know if I told you I took a nap, but I took a nap because I did tell you that. I told you that I have to take naps. But um, I woke up from my nap, had a conference call. It's a lot of exciting things going on, none of which I can share with you, but it looks like this month is gonna be absolutely just. There was a period of my life where I traveled non stop, stop and my life was chaos. Then I stopped that for a while. And I feel like this month is going to be one of those months where my life is just absolute chaos, traveling, never home. And I'm so glad that I get to daily vlog about it now because you can hear all about it. Yeah, trying to find something to eat right now. I'm trying to avoid getting Chipotle. So I'm just walking down the street aimlessly. Still got to make my video. It's still video day, but I have so much stuff. You know what I need? I need to find a rock star. I need to find a rock star. Mission rock star. I'm not wearing a bra. How did I get here? I don't understand. I don't. I was walking, and then I just. Now I need to have Chipotle. You see, like I, and I. It's like they placed them here strategically. Strategically. I'm just in a rush. I need something to eat, so I couldn't find anything else in my Chipotle. Judge me. Judge me hard. Judge me. All right, I'm about to get my Chipotle on with my rock star. I just wanted to say. I feel like everyone's so nice in LA. Every time I tell people that, they're like, oh no, people are nice in LA. And it's like this thing that people think in LA, people are just very like rude. And I feel like I've never encountered a rude person. Like I just ran to like a sheriff. And he's like, hey, how are you? Have a great day. You just look so nice. And people are always like, that's because they know that you're super woman. People treat you well because you're super woman. I'm like, no, these people have no idea who I am. These people at Chipotle have no idea who I am. The sheriff had no idea who I am. People are just really nice. It's like LA has such a pick me up. I, I really dig it. I dig nice people. People that are nice and have good energies. I'm gonna stop talking now and eat all of this, so good day. So I'm back in my hotel room. I don't know how this happened. Somehow I came home with a cupcake. And this is the story of how this happened. I'm a very impulsive person, so like, if I see something and I get a good energy from it, I will go towards it. I gravitate towards happiness. So like, I was walking down the street, already so full, and I saw this place, it was called Sprinkles. And it was like colorful, and I kept walking, and I was like, you know, the word sprinkles makes me very happy. I turned and looked at it and I was like, those colors are also very cool. So not even based on the fact that I wanted a cupcake or not, solely based on the word sprinkles and the colors in the title. I was like, I went towards this, so I was a cupcake shop and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Bought a cupcake, red velvet cupcake, just, just like that. Another story, so as I was walking home, this is my brain for you, okay? As I was walking home, I walked by money on the ground. And I, I think it was like 20 bucks. First I just saw two and then I kept walking and then I was like, wait, they don't even have a $2 bill as far as I'm concerned, it was probably 20. I didn't pick it up and this was my reasoning for not picking it up. This is how much YouTube is effed with me and television is effed with me. I'm like, yo, what is this like a YouTube prank and I pick it up and like, it's like a hidden camera and like freaking FooseyTube is in on this or something. My second thought process was, you know that episode of The Simpsons when Mr. Burns has the money tied to something and he's dragging, I'm like, yo, this can't be real. There's so many people walking by this. Why is no one picking it up? This is, this is something. So I ignored it. Crossed the street, but then I was like, yo, I passed so many homeless people on the way here. I'm gonna pick it up before someone else does and give it to one of these people that really needs it. So I turned back around and I was looking at it from across the street and I was like, no one pick it up, no one pick it up. As I'm about to cross the street, someone picks it up and puts it in their pocket. And I was like, damn it! And I feel like, crap, I should have picked it up and give it to someone who really needed it, but I didn't because I was afraid Mr. Burns was playing a trick on me. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this cupcake, record a video. I'm thinking something along the lines of impersonating other YouTubers since Halloween is tomorrow. Um, I don't have any wigs and like all YouTubers have funky mother and hair, so I'm just gonna have to like make do somehow, some way, but that's what I'm thinking. But first and foremost, 
I made the club cut because I'm gonna go find it. Okay, this is me in this awkward cave lighting. First bite of the cupcake. Here we go. Sprinkles, let's let's see what you are about, huh? Y'all seen this cupcake, right? Y'all seen this? Damn! This cupcake dough. I cannot even vlog right now. Meow. Okay, so this isn't a complaint, it's just a mini rant of, I cannot express to you how difficult it is to travel and also post videos because everything and their mothers get in the way of doing this. At my hotel, the Wi-Fi is extremely slow, so I'm like, how can I get a faster Wi-Fi? Like, oh, you have to do this, this, and this, and everything they're telling me is not working on the phone. Now I'm taking my laptop downstairs so the manager can attempt to give me faster internet. This homeboy made me come all the way downstairs to tell me that he doesn't know how to fix it. That's what just happened. So now, it's almost midnight. It's saying it's gonna take like 12 hours to upload my video. He called me downstairs to say he'll fix it. I got there and he's like, I don't know how to fix it. Could you be any more useless? Could you be any more useless? Oh, I'm so frustrated. I have never been more frustrated in my... It's not even loading the thing that lets me click upload. So like my video hasn't even begun to upload because even to click upload, that's not loading. Hotels like this should not exist. Shouldn't You should not exist. I want to punch all your walls right now. 87 minutes to go. <laughs> Meow. So it's almost 3 a.m. and... Is that on my ca- oh, it's on my camera. <laughs> it's almost 3 a.m. Uh, and there's still 10 more minutes of this video to upload. I have polysporin on my face for my pimples. Everything's going great right now. I'm checking out this godforsaken hotel tomorrow. Um, I gotta release my video, go to sleep, I have a meeting tomorrow at 11. Lads, <sighs> mercy. Yo, one more thing. Before you forget, the second Team Super newsletter is coming out on November 1st, so if you've not entered your email address yet to get the newsletter, the information in the description, is, I can just tell you right now, www.teamsuper.ca, put in your email address, it's free, you'll get a newsletter, letting you know a whole bunch of new stuff in November. And I'm letting you know right now, there is new merch that you're gonna find out through the newsletter. So if you wanna know about all that jazz, post your email address, www.teamsuper.ca. In the meantime, I'm gonna release this ish. I'm gonna go friggin' to sleep. I gotta friggin' do a billion things tomorrow. I don't even know where I'm going tomorrow, which hotel I'm going, what's going on. My face all shiny. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. And if you like it, subscribe! Don't stop, what you don't. Okay, bye.